217 BC, a century after the death of Alexander the Great. His successors still vie for dominance over the once prosperous empire. Over the past three years, the Seleucid king Antiochus III has pushed through Syria. Ptolemy IV has gathered an army of natives in an effort to meet him at Raphia. With the country in crisis, he knows that defeat would mean nothing less than the end of his dynasty in Egypt. Hello fellow Spartans and welcome to the Battle of Raphia, the fifth of the historical battles for my channel. And yes, we're back with the Battle of Raphia today. It's one that a lot of people have requested me to do, so I'm back with this one for you guys today. And we're playing as Egypt against the Seleucids. So let's ply this one out. I hope we've got a, quite a formidable force to to fight the Seleucids with. So hopefully we should be able to uh, to win the day today on this one. But yeah, hopefully our, my experience as playing as the Egyptians on my uh, Let's Play series will will be in my favour. So we'll soon find out, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, the Battle of Raphia, which was a victory for Egypt in the end, in historical terms. King Ptolemy did win the battle on the day and beat the Seleucid Empire. Um, obviously, the Seleucid Empire is, I think, the remains of what. Um, you know, obviously, at this point in time, they were sort of bidding for power over Egypt. Obviously, what remains that the legacy of Alexander the Great was still in in Egypt, very very prominent in Egypt still. Obviously, with the um, the conquest that he did only a hundred years before, so obviously that. The influence he had has obviously still remained in, in Egypt, and obviously this is why they were buying for power against each other and trying to fight off against the legacy of Alexander and his army, or his his loyalists, I should say, and against the, uh, the the kingdom of Egypt. So, yeah, we'll fight one out, and hopefully we can repeat history today in this battle. Antiochus, conqueror of Syria, and his Seleucid army now marches on Egypt. Ptolemy has amassed a large and varied force to meet the Seleucid threat. However, Ptolemy's Atlas elephants are panicked by the larger Indian breed commanded by Antiochus. They will not bear being close to them in the coming battle. Ptolemy must be victorious at Raphia or his kingdom will surely fall. So, Our ladies and gentlemen... The Seleucid forces approach us. Oh. Our elephants will not stand being close to those of the enemy. Please, no, avoid no. them at all costs. Okay, yes, we must do. I mean, they look like... Let's quickly go over to them, actually have a quick look. It looked like they brought... I mean, look at that. The Indian armoured elephants, they will be really difficult to break down on this battle. Look at that. Weapon damage 80, health 945, melee attack 64. They'd be really hard to break down. Uh, Indian war elephants not as severe because they're not, obviously not armoured, but if we can try and repel them and get them um, broken as soon as possible, then hopefully we'll have a chance. I mean, we have our African war elephants as well, so hopefully they can counter them. And we've got our chariots, our charioteers as well. So let's just put them into over on the right flank actually to try and counter their threat that's going to come across the field. Now we've got quite a substantial quite a substantial cavalry units to uh, to go with here. So let's put them on the left flank and then basically we're going to have to use our Egyptian pikemen um, to not, let's not spread them too thin to repel the army elephants if we can. I think that's going to be where we can try and change the battle on this one. If we can try and repel the army elephants with those pikemen, I think we've got a chance. Now the Egyptian infantry are, as we know in our Let's Play of Egypt, very poor. They're not worthwhile at all really in battle. They don't seem to uh, survive or uh, they seem to break very easily. So we'll just try and uh, use them um, if required, but hopefully avoid them at the same time. If we can try and win the battle without them, then I think that's not a bad thing, to be honest with you. Um, so, brute fight for them. Now, I'm going to put the Galatian swordsmen into the left flank to support the hopper lights that are there. 
This is going to be a hard one, this is, guys. I'm not looking forward to this. This is going to be quite a tricky battle to break down, I think. Um, obviously, we've got our skirmish units in uh, the group there, and they can hold at the back there. Now, we're going to put the carrying axemen on the right flank to try and support the, uh, the Egyptian infantry. And let's see what we can do then. Let's put King Ptolemy here, actually, to give him... A protection and B the inspire ability or just see the order of his presence behind the men there. So we're putting him into a separate group actually. What have we got here? Group nine. Okay, let's go guys, let's go, let's do this and see what we can do here. Now hopefully they will come and attack us and we can stand our ground here. Quite an interesting map layout. I mean, obviously, it's very flat land here. It's quite an open landmass, so it's going to provide a lot of maneuverability for our cavalry and their cavalry as well. So we need to be aware of that. They could easily flank us um, on this one. Now, it looks like they're bringing their army elephants out left, supported by their companion cavalry, which aren't going to be easy. Light cavalry as well. On the right flank, they've got more companion and light cavalry and their normal Indian war elephants. So, let's put into fast forward a bit so we can get the battle flowing here. So, they're actually quite close than I thought, actually. Okay, let's get them all on quick reload for the, uh, the um, skirmish units. So, they're bringing in their skirmishes as well now. So, possibly we could ride out with our, our cavalry in a second. Cavalry! Now, that, oh god, this is going to be tricky. Let's get the, um, our horse, oh sorry, our camel archers to try and whittle down the uh, elephants on this right, this this left flank. And, oh hang on, just remember to get our pikes into uh, phalanx mode. There's a gap here, I didn't realise. Oh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be very tricky. Oh, we've got engagement on the left flank already. Balls. Okay, go across. Okay, the Southern Cavalry can try and support that flank there if they can. Chariots and elephants going to attack now. God, the cavalry doing very well. I'm flanking on that right flank as well. I've opened themselves up a bit too much, I think, now, unfortunately. In fact, let's just utilise this now. How are we doing against them here? Right, they've broken. Let's attack these elephants in the rear here. Big full on charge with our main cavalry to hit them hard in the back here. Volley from the archers. Oh, that's nicely impacted on their centre. How are we doing? The, how are we doing the? Uh, f with the in fact, let's try and bring the pike across here. Oh, God, not too good at the moment, unfortunately. But we've got to try and bring these elephants down as quickly as possible. Let's get the archers firing in upon them as well. Bring them down, come on. General. Try and get our general out of there. Again, let's get our camel archers to go across here. We're doing the centre here. Pikes faces, pikes there on that right side, on that side, that centre. God, we're not using our elephants at all here. It's going to move into the centre here. Our archers are doing a nice job bringing those bronze shields and salesmen down. We need to bring our pikemen to face the right bloody way. But hopefully, keep, get the archers keep firing there. Looking at 118 now, so they're doing a good job breaking them down. Got the camel archers to go round the back. Oh, 
Not looking good, not looking good at all. But here come the art, here come the elephants across. Now they can possibly try and change this battle now if they can try and break them down. So this is doing a damn good job of <laughs> every pulling the armies here. But if we can just try and break them down with this cavalry charge as well. Camel archers can go on, on, around the rear here. They can possibly get them to melee attack mode. They can take out these two units of, or three units of skirmishers here. Come on, guys. Need you moving now. How are we doing here with the elephants? They're breaking down these power tasks pretty well, actually. In fact, I think we're doing this one. I thought we were going to lose this, but I think we're going to try and... I think we've got it, actually. Let's not get cocky, though. Bring the pikemen across to these um, missile units over here. It's not being the cleanest of battles, though, I must admit. Bring these out of there. We don't want to get them engaging with those pikemen. What have we got here? No, it's... We don't want to get these. Oh, we don't want, again. We don't want elephants going straight in for those those pikemen. Let's see if they can hit them in the rear. Actually. If they're facing the wrong way, we've got a chance here. Okay, here we go. Let's get them on the stampede. Oh no, they're turning, turning, turning. Bring them back, bring them back. Camel archers over there. Let's try and get around them. Here we go. Let's get a charge in for the rear here. This will probably do it. Seeing him hit them at the back, this is going to probably cause mass problems with them. They'll just turn around now. If we can get it before the packs go down, we've got a chance. We've done it. Yes, well done. Elephant's still holding strongly here. Let's hit those skirmishes and get them out of the way now. The pikes. We can get these pikes to go then, and I think we've got a chance here. But it's just that the pikes are doing very well off repelling our cavalry, which of course they're going to do. So, so we need to try and in if we can get them engaging with our pikemen, then hit them from the rear with our cavalry. Then I think we've got a chance. Come on, come on. These cavalry units over here. We need to try and take out. Right, so we've got engagement here, we have. Right, okay, let's just make sure the... How we doing? Right, okay. Let's get a direct charge in from the cavalry over here, come on. They're not stupid, they're not stupid. Oh, have we? Amazing. God, I thought we'd lost that one then. Fantastic. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a very close battle. That was harder than I thought. The AI doing very well there with their pike units. I think I could have done a bit better myself, actually. It was a, it was a scrappy battle, but we, we we won it nonetheless. And, of course, it was on hard difficulty as well, so we didn't do too bad, actually, in the end, thinking about it. But, yes, we've got that victory. And that is the Battle of Raffia complete. The fifth of the historical battles for my channel. So I hope you've enjoyed it, as always. Um, even though, as I say, it wasn't as cleanly fought as the last one but yes we did win in the end so thanks very much for watching guys please remember to comment rate subscribe give me some thumbs up for the video as always and i shall speak to you guys very soon but until now until then i should say this is warrior spotter saying goodbye ciao